Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Eat Like Lisa. Hi everyone. Today we are going to make omelets. Who loves omelets? I love omelets, but I really, really, to be honest, hate flipping them. <laughs> um, I always find that uh, I break them and, and they don't look as pretty as they should. Well, Epicure is taking care of that. They've actually um, come up with a microwave cookware item, our omelet maker, which will, if you notice, it's shaped exactly like an omelet should be shaped. So they, um, we're just gonna add what we need to our omelet and we're gonna make a fresh omelet in about two minutes. So this is one of my, I'll let you know, my go-to uh, favorite meals to take uh, to lunch. It's amazing to bring eggs, raw eggs, and then turn them into an omelet in just a matter of minutes. Everybody's always impressed. <laughs> All right, so for those of you who don't know me, I guess I should introduce myself. My name is Lisa Duck, and I am the senior leader with Epicure. I've been doing Epicure for about, uh, going on 10 years now. And uh, I fell in love with the products and the fact that things were so easy to make. Uh, my boys actually fell in love with the fact that they could start cooking at early ages because most of the items can go in the microwave and it was easy for them to use. So today what we're going to do is we're gonna, just going to go through a couple things on, and um, show you how easy it is to make an omelet. So I'll prep it as if I were taking it to work. So you'll notice that the one side has steam holes, that's the top, so you always wanna make sure that that is facing up. Um, they do recommend a small amount of oil just because the egg could stick. Um, I have done it without oil. It's just a, a little <clears throat> harder to get out, but not that messy at all. So I just put brush very lightly. You can see that I did very small amount of oil in there, all right? And I'm just using our silicone basing brush, and again, I just added oil to our prep bowls. <clears throat> the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to get our eggs ready, because who really wants to travel with raw eggs in their lunch bag, thinking that, hey, they're gonna break and I'm gonna have a huge mess when I open up my lunch. Somebody has their lunch in the fridge, they smash their lunch on top of it, and whoops, there it goes. Well. We've thought about that, and it's just so easy to do it this way. So, what we're gonna do is, this is how I take my eggs. I take my eggs already um, already broken. So I just crack them into the cruet and just lift it slightly, it'll pop right through. trying so hard not to make a mess. <laughs> Again, plop it up, it goes right through. Then we're always gonna use a little bit of milk, okay? If you're dairy, um, dairy intolerant, you can always use just water to add a little bit of um, uh, liquid to that or any type of dairy alternative that you typically use. I do at this point add a touch of salt. Now you'll notice my salt, what I do at home, um, they come in a grinder, which is a smaller jar, and then because all of our grinding lids will fit on any jar that that's the, that same dimension, I just take the lid off of our refill jar and I put the grinder on top of it so that I don't have to keep transferring over um, and I have everything there nice and neat. Put a little bit of salt. I love the tuxedo pepper. Just grind a little bit of that in too. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's just simply falling through. Um, my favorite flavor to add to Omelets is the CCB, uh, formerly called cheese, chive, and bacon. So I just add about a, about a tablespoon, heaping tablesp or sorry, heaping teaspoon of dip mix to the egg mixture. Okay, we have everything that we need in there. 
and no whisking required because all you do is simply put the lid on and shake, shake, shake. All right, so while that's all mixed up, now we're gonna cut up some fresh veggies to put in it. I'm gonna be using our new Prep Pro knife. It's a ceramic blade, so it's actually um, 10 times sharper than stainless steel. It's an amazing, um, an amazing knife to use. So uh, I, you probably can't see, but I mean, this just slices through super easy. So all I'm doing is this is just a little tiny snack pepper because I only want to put a small amount. So I'm just going to clean this, this out here. And then what I do, I'm just going to cut it up into little pieces. Now you can do um, whatever veggies uh, that you choose. I typically love to do peppers and onions in my omelet. Um, and again, no rhyme or reason to cutting anything up. I'm just getting into small manageable pieces. And you'll see how easy this knife is slipping through everything. Now, if I know that I'm gonna have omelets a couple days out of the week, what I will do is I'll actually cut these up and have them all prepped in the fridge ready to go. Now with the, um, the onion, I'm gonna use our little gadget here. This is our four-in-one mandolin. taking the skin off I'm trying to rush here so I'm probably wasting a little bit more onion than I would typically waste um, but again trying to just get this demo rolling <laughs> if you haven't already noticed uh, standing behind the camera is not really natural for me so uh, I'm glad you still you're still sticking in <laughs> so a little bit about this four-in-one mandolin um, it's called four in one because it comes with four different cutting heads, uh, two uh, blades that will julienne, two different sizes, and two blades that will just um, slice. And again, two different sizes in that as well. Now this, um, bear with me because I'm just... So the four blades that um, slice, and then I'll just show you how easy it is to switch the blades. So basically, there's a little hole there and a little button on the back of the blade. You just simply put your fingers in behind and plop it out. And then when you put in the new blade, it's just like putting on a shoe. There's a little uh, divot in there that you just wanna rest the front of it in and snap it in. Okay, it's all ready to go. A little trick, um, because I really don't like dicing up onions, because I don't like the smell of them, they make me cry and they make me sneeze. So, <laughs> what you do is, you notice how I put it on, because the other way, let's try this out. So, that will give you nice julienne pieces of um, onion. If you want a diced onion, put it on with the ring side down. And you'll see that you get little diced up onions in there. Okay, because it cuts into the, the rings as well. If you like them a little finer, then you can just simply take the knife and just give it a little nice little chopping. I don't like huge chunks of onions in my my omelet. All right. So to do the onions or to do the omelet is it's as simple as this. You take your mixture, and again, um, if you were taking this to work, I would have just simply when I had the um, the cruet on there, I would have just added the vegetables to the mixture. Okay, so let's just add a bit in there. Okay, again, give it a little shake so everything's incorporated. And there is my omelet ready to go to work. So when I get to work, my, my omelet maker is already greased because I've greased it and I put it in my 
lunch bag like this. You can put it in a Ziploc bag if you want to keep it clean. Open it up, making sure the air pocket or the air holes are down, and just simply pour it in. Okay. Um, never any more than two eggs in there. It will make a mess. I promise. Then I just simply now I would just add cheese and take cheese in a separate container. Okay. And close the omelet maker. I'm going to take this to our microwave and I'll be right back. All right. So that takes about two minutes in my microwave. Now keep in mind everybody's microwave is different. It depends on the wattage. I have just your um, small countertop microwave. So. Some people have done their um, omelets in about a minute and a half, and I've had microwaves uh, take as long as three minutes. So all depends again on your microwave, but the beauty of our, our silicone microwave cookware is that the fact that um, once you know how long it takes in your microwave, it's gonna be that same time. I cook rice in our multi-purpose, rice and quinoa in our multi-purpose steamer and it takes 16 minutes in my microwave from start to finish and the rice is beautiful, our quinoa is beautiful each time. So I'm just gonna open up and you'll actually see the steam pouring off of there. You see the nice little shape of the omelet. And you gotta keep in mind I'm used to touching these things but they are very hot right when they come out of the microwave. So you just take your little corner spoon or whatever um, utensil that you have and you just plop it on top of your greens. Voila! That is a balanced meal. I would add a piece of um, toast with this and the meal is balanced and ready to go. Great fresh uh, lunch or dinner or breakfast. Hope you guys enjoy. Take care.